Ah, screw it. What scientific experiment would you run if money and ethics weren't an issue? Have a baby human raised by apes. Basically to see if Tarzan scenario would occur and the human is able to communicate fully with the apes. There have actually been a lot of cases of wild children who were raised with animals, most often dogs as they are the most likely to bond with humans. But I believe there may have been one with monkeys. Look up feral children and you'll find plenty of articles and stories. How would the world react to a mountain of 100 billion pennies for free in the middle of a major area? This sounds so dumb, but is really ducking interesting, if or who think about it. Oh man I love this question. There are a ton of geoengineering experiments that I'd love to run if they weren't both 1. Illegal 2. Insanely expensive 3. Non-zero possibility of death and destruction Iron fertilization Basically dumping tons of iron dust into the ocean to cause an algae bloom which should sequester a bunch of carbon and help mitigate global warming Cloud seeding Space mirrors Dropping a nuke into a volcano You know Normal stuff the Chilligan's Island experiment. Shipwreck 100 people with vastly different backgrounds, wealth disparity, and personalities on a remote island. See what kind of civilization grows from it. Then do it 50 more times to check results against each other. At some point, the population at Pitcairn Island got too big, way before the child rape issues, and they moved the entire island population from Pitcairn to Norfolk Island, which is about 1000 kilometers, don't quote me on that, off the coast of Australia. Some islanders arrived on Norfolk and decided to move back to Pitcairn. Norfolk Islanders have the same independent spirit and are fighting the Australian government over who should control local politics on the island. Norfolk took a huge hit and went broke during the financial collapse circa 2008. Tourism tanked and they couldn't keep things afloat on their own financially. I find both Pitcairn and Norfolk Islands fascinating. Pitcairn may not survive there are only about 50 to 75 people left, but Norfolk Island has a population of over 1000 and Norfolk Islanders carry much of the same culture on a small island, without many of the issue Pitcairn deals with, and are now under tighter control of the Australian government. Both Pitcairn and Norfolk Islanders share the same language and culture. If you can't sleep, YouTube has a ton of amazing videos on both Norfolk and Pitcairn. I think it's fascinating to see the differences between the Pitcairn Islanders versus the Norfolk Islanders after years apart. Not necessarily a scientific experiment, but a series of experiments to see how you can control nerve sensations from the brain and whether a poo can create VR that can perfectly mimic the sensation of touch whilst being motionless. As if you're moving and touching something in a virtual world, but not in the real world. Is that even possible? I'd study the long-term effects of Logi on humans by sending a habitat to the moon and then sending supplies and volunteers. And I'd send a lunar bulldozer to cover the habitat with regolith because I'm not particularly interested in contaminating my results with radiation exposure. With Elon Musk's Neuralink thing the first thing I thought of was an unethical experiment. If you attached a whole bunch of wires to the speech center and audio center of the brain of a bunch of children and network them together, I wonder what kind of language they would develop and how they would communicate with what is essentially telepathy. We are the Borg. You will be assimilated. Your biological and technological distinctiveness will be added to our own. Resistance is futile. Force compliance on specific diets with a diverse sample of people and a well-regulated control group. Follow for 10 plus years. Is veganism really healthy? How about paleo? Should we never be eating gluten or dairy? Edit to add. This has definitely not been done before, because there are several problems with this kind of study. You can't force people to comply to a diet, which is the first hurdle. You could have people voluntarily report what they eat, but this isn't a randomized trial and has its own issues. Recall issues compliance, self-selection bias, etc. You're also missing a good control group to compare results to. Then if there is a population that follows a certain diet, say people from the Mediterranean following the Mediterranean diet, you run into the problem of correlation versus causation. There could be something different about their lifestyle that is explaining the health differences besides diet. Same issue as above, no control group. 
there's also the huge issue of not having a longitude study. Most short-term trials examining diets are just that. Short-term. It's hard to ascertain if there are health effects show up 10 or 20 years down the road. Also, people claiming that they know what diets are healthy slash unhealthy. I'm sure that's true of some diets slash types of foods. And research non-experimental data, even with its flaws, can point us in the right direction. I'd feel pretty good saying that eating more vegetables is healthier for the vast majority of people. Eating Doritos is not healthy for the vast majority of people. But there is so much we don't know about optimal nutrition and how different populations react to food. I'd love to see an actual high quality experiment. Second edit. You can't experiment on prisoners. This seems to be a common question. Even an experiment you feel is benign is unethical. Prisoners are unable to properly consent because they, rightly, feel their liberty is at stake for consenting. They are therefore not able to consent to an experiment, which means you can't run it. Most of the laws and norms that were passed stating this were conceived after World War II when researchers were quite literally concerned about preventing the crimes of the Nazis from taking place again. You've reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. For more content please subscribe.